Everything FGC. I'm Rissa Roberto and I'm chilling here with Drew Face. What's up, Drew? What's cooking, baby? <laughs> we are gonna talk some final round. That was a hype weekend, baby. Woo! Oh my, okay, I feel it. I feel it from you, which means I know you watched all of it. So without spoiling anything, because we're gonna have a special guest here very soon to chat all things final round. What went down this weekend? Oh man, a lot of things happened, man. Let's talk about that losers run. We gotta talk about our homie James Chen. <laughs> Well, I mean, James Chan was obviously commentating a lot of it, and we're going to be chatting with him soon. But as a fan watching, because you've been in the FGC for a long time now, obviously, you know hype from not so hype. Oh. Where was this weekend on the hype meter for you guys in the FGC? Honestly, it was top 10 on the R&B billboards. Shouts to Pac Chop, <laughs> man. That was dope. That was hella dope. It was top 10 on the R&B charts. It's just up there? Up there, man. Absolutely, man. But Final you, round, no round, brown. I mean, we won't, we, obviously we're going to dive a little deeper with James, but honestly, Punk, like, I feel like, Punk, like, last year, we were just chatting with him, and I feel like he had lost all of his confidence. It's almost like he fell off the map. And now this year, it seems like it could be the year of Punk. You know what? He ain't no Punk. <laughs> he is so good. He is so clean. I love that man's pussies all day. <laughs> he just puts these all day. But you feel like he just, there's just something about him that he's maybe dedicated a little bit more this year. He really focused, he settled in. Or has become, because he has a new org backing him, like he's trying to make reciprocity proud. I, I think it's the mental mind state he has mm. because Punk's the best one. He is feeling himself, mm. like Nivea, just oh. feeling himself. Okay, well, speaking of feeling themselves, I feel like that's you, Drew. I'm going to let you do that. Well, we head to some highlights because we got a super special guest, Jess Street Fighter 5, with us. But before we get to that, we gotta check out these lady highlights from the first stop on the Capcom Pro Tour final round. Blast to take out the Evo champion. Next hit, next grab. Oh, that wasn't a convert, but he gets the crouching light kick, and there it is, Zero Blast coming out on the winner's side. Oh, no, actually, not quite. Wake up buttons he from CJ2. CJ lives. He's got he's super. He's got critical art too. Bolt chance in trouble even though he's got the life lead. She can do so much chip. Oh, here. Oh, too far away for the throw. Oh, he is the ex. Oh my god, he's CJ. He's going get it. Off the wall, into the throw. And there it is, CJ Truth clutching it out at the very end. Ooh, wow. Oh, you're that done. You're done. You're done. You're done. Is he sure? Oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, uh, oh. Uh. OK, not quite. Almost. Just the pressure. Oh. oh, it goes at him with the, the the wheel kick. Smug. Very close to stun as well. Barry's oh, the very nice. Stop. Sent the bar. Huge damage. Not enough to kill. Oh, oh he's, he's got, got him again. He's got him. Three he's got for him. three. He's got him. Cook it takes Tokido to losers bracket with three wake up critical arts back to back to back. Oh, okay, here we go. Oh, this, this is doable. Time. It's doable. And Johnny, more, what's the more, response defensively? One more hit into a combo and just critical art, and that's yes. it. Yeah, for sure. Oh, the overhead into... Oh, he doesn't even need it. Oh, he's okay. He's, got a, he's trying to build that critical art. Is he going to be able to get it? Oh, there it is. Just off that hit. That is exactly what it is. Is this going to kill? It is enough, and there you go. Momochi. Look at that defense. Oh, he's he there. Sends one of the bars. Punk trying to make it happen in the corner. Okay, EX out of the corner. Beautiful stuff by Oil King, but he's going to get hit. EX, and that will do it right there. Oh my god. Momochi coming with the comeback. Gets the counter hit. Uh uh. EX, EX, not enough. Wake up buttons yeah. from Momochi. Not scared. There's the slug and the back throw. And Momochi is going to take it. Punk should have just went to the critical art right there just okay. to kind of put that pressure on Johnny. Oh my god, he Punk, went for here the comes EX. Punk. You it's going to be close to stun. EX, you crazy man. Will he do it again? He doesn't get a chance. Punk ends up taking it. There's a lot of meter on Punk's side. Momochi's got beef. Oh, the oh, timing. There right there. One, I was just going to say, Momochi two. has V trigger. All the Zekus in the world want slide to activate. And so Punk knows it. He blows it up. Momochi's there in the corner. Punk threatening. 
Tiger's already over, and not much usage on it. Oh, Here he goes! One EX, and guess what? Punk is your champion. He raises his arms into the air. Punk went on the loser's run of his life to become the final round champion. To break down the event with us, we got our friend James Chen on the line. How's it going, James? How's it going? I'm glad to be back. <laughs> I mean, we're so happy to have you. Uh, obviously, Drew is happy to have you too. I'm ready, bro. I'm ready to hear this man speak. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just, it was so exciting. Like, uh, you know, we both watched it, especially that final matchup. But, like, just talk about the rise of Punk here, because we were just saying before you called in that Punk has had a real low. Like, last year, it felt like he was on a real low when he was kind of just kicking himself when he was down. Now, I, I honestly didn't know if he'd ever make it back. But what is so special about this guy that he was able to do this? Uh, you know, to be honest, I, I feel like there's like two sides of punk, mm -hmm. right? There's, uh, you know, I talked about it during commentary, but you know, there's there's cocky punk and then there's respectful punk, you know. <laughs> and uh, when he's in his element, when he's at his most, you know, cocky kind of uh, confident player uh, mode, I feel like he can't be beaten. And and that was the kind of punk that we saw you know, when he got second place at EVO. Mm -hmm. And, you know, since then, I felt like maybe he kind of lost a little bit of that fire. I'm also not even sure, like, I've been kind of almost saying that when he signed with Echo Fox, he kind of put pressure on himself, mm -hmm. you know? And, and all of a sudden, he was like, oh, I need to perform for the sponsor. I'm not sure if that's true, but it felt that way. And I felt like he lost a little bit of that fire, but, you know, he got let go from mm -hmm. uh, Echo Fox, he's part of reciprocity now, but I feel like after that happened, after he got let go from Echo Fox, it just kind of relit that fire for him, you know, because since then, you could see it. He, he was getting stronger. He was starting to look like the, the punk that we knew from, you know, from that Evo second place finish. And then here at final round, all of a sudden, you know, from the losers, he got sent to losers in pools. I know. And, like real early, bro. Like real early. Yeah. And, and so, you know, the fact that he made it all the way through loser's bracket and won the tournament is super, super impressive. So I think we're kind of seeing, yeah, a, a, a return of Punk to, you know, his his original form, his his most powerful form. <laughs> his final form, perhaps. Yes, exactly, Absolutely. yes. Can, can we say that? Uh, no, I mean, the fact that you're already in losers, obviously his back is up against the wall during all of that, right? That's just how losers bracket works. Um, he took on a lot of big name players in that losers uh, round as well. Who did you see him take on that you were just like beyond impressed with? Uh, honestly, it was probably the grand finals mm -hmm. when he took out Momochi because he took him out 3 0 to reset the bracket and then 3 1. It was so fast, James. It was so yeah. fast. I've never seen anything so fast like that. That dude cooked him real good. <laughs> that first set was so fast. And um, the, the reason why it was so impressive to me because he had just come from being Momochi's student, Johnny, you know, mm -hmm. in a very, very close match. But Johnny and Momochi had a really close match, and Johnny's using the same character that Punk is using, right? Karen. And uh, it was really close. Uh, Momochi went on a 2 0 lead, but then Johnny tied it up 2 2, and then it was just very close at the end. But, you know, we saw how Momochi can fight against a high-level Karen player in Johnny, but then Punk just came back and said, no, 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 no. <laughs> Look, Johnny's cool and everything, but this is how you're going to play Karen versus Zeku. And, uh, yeah, Punk just ran through Momochi. And Momochi, who just won EVO Japan, and, you know, Punk was top eight at EVO Japan as well. So, you know, the fact that he defeated Momochi so convincingly was definitely the most standout match for him, for Pug, mm -hmm. uh, in my opinion. Well, speaking about Momochi, mm -hmm. let's talk about Momochi and Johnny, man. Tell me a little bit about that backstory, because I know there's a DLC push for it with the Masters students, though. Tell me mm -hmm. about it. <laughs> yeah, so uh, basically, uh, in Japan, you know, playing games still has kind of like a stigma to it, you know, like, you know, uh, you shouldn't spend so much time, you can't really do oh, anything. Yeah, you're a basement dweller, all that, I know, I know, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. You it, still get so, hit with that sometimes. 
Yeah, and 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 uh, what Momochi and Choco Blanca are trying to do is they're trying to change that perception in Japan. So they've started this uh, Shinobiism school mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. where they're basically training younger players on how to be strong in Street Fighter and, and, and in fighting games in general. Uh, they've taken their best students and created their own team, the, the Fudo team. And uh, Johnny's a part of that. That's why he's Fudo Johnny uh, when he enters. And so he, Johnny is basically just getting trained by Momochi. And you can clearly see it because a lot of the strengths that Momochi has, the whiff punishing, you know, the, the frame traps and, the, and, and you know, the, the, the confirms and everything like that. Oh, it was clean. He was clean, man. Johnny was hella yeah. clean. That neutral, whoo. Oh, yeah, kind of exactly. And what what better teacher for the neutral can you get than Momochi? I mean, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know, right? Like the whip punish god of all time. Like that, he's a top, at least the greatest of all time in whip punishing. That dude is crazy. Yeah, I mean, honestly, I would have put him as the greatest of all time if it wasn't for Punk. Ah. <laughs> His Punk is on some level of whip punishing and confirms. It's it's ridiculous. But yeah, so so you know Johnny has been uh, being trained by Momochi this whole entire time, and so you can see it too. You know when Momochi was watching him play against Punk, you could see him sitting there, and he was like, you could see a very tense and kind of like nervous look. But then well, even he's young man, he's young. He's definitely gonna get nervous off that stage, man. <laughs> yeah. And then when uh, when Johnny you know lost to Momochi, you even saw this kind of smirk from Momochi like. Well done, Steven. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think there's like something to be said about Mochi? I mean, he was obviously dropped by Echo Fox. Um, okay. Choco Blanca was even a part of Echo Fox as well. I mean, Punk was part of Echo Fox. Do you feel like there's some kind of fighter mentality there going into, especially tournaments like this, where you know Echo Fox is watching? Like, you know they're seeing what they're doing. So maybe like show them, hey, like maybe you shouldn't have dropped me? I mean, there, there's definitely a little bit of that, I would imagine. Um, I mean, fortunately for Momochi and Choco, they got picked up by Victrix recently. So, you know, they're, they're doing, it, it's, it was what a pickup, too, because they pick up Momochi, and the first thing he does is win Evo Japan, yeah. you know? But, you know, uh, to be honest with you, for Momochi, uh, yeah, there's probably a lot of, you know, hey, you know, Echo Fox, you shouldn't, you know, like, look, look, look what you're missing kind of thing, you know, uh, or as uh, Scar said, uh, I, 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 I think it was Scar, you know, Echo Fox, where I mean, you went? <laughs> I mean, like, Rick Fox might be Magic Johnson, <laughs> like, at this point, you know what I'm saying? Shouts to the Lakers. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Shouts to the Lakers. Shouts to the Lakers. Shouts to LeBron. <laughs> Let's just Stop talk about that right now. <laughs> oh, I know. They're getting cooked right now, baby. <laughs> it's a bad scene, man. Um, let's talk about this amazing scene, though. I mean, the whole USA versus Japan Ooh. thing. Yeah, I yes. love this. I like the land, not the land of the free, hey, shall man. we say. James Chen, yeah. you've been in America's side since, I don't know, since the zenith of the time. <laughs> How does it feel that now Punk, CJ Truth, and Brian F. all made top eight from the USA? They body a lot of Americans, uh, Japanese players, and... Is, it, is, is the glorious Nippon over? Mm. Is the land of the Japan over? Like, uh, uh, Unfortunately, I think it's just starting for Japan, to be honest with you, because uh, Arcade Edition just dropped for Ooh. them. And uh, well, once that- Time took, Chamber, baby, that arcade. Yeah. Once that shows up in the arcades, things are gonna change. And Japan is always gonna be the strongest. I still think they're the strongest right now. However, you know, obviously the US players are doing really, really well. And like you said, there was a lot of matchups. Uh, Smug defeated Fujimura, you know, who was, you know, one of the favorites, always one of the favorites to win. You know, Punk beating Momochi, uh, Cool Kid beating Tokido. You know, there was definitely a lot of US versus Japan. And the U.S. is doing really, really well. So, you know, I expect Japan is going to get stronger now that they're going to get Street Fighter V in the arcades. But, you know, it's 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 still encouraging that the U.S. players are 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 doing really, really well. And, you know, interesting stat too that was brought up by uh, one a a, 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 st a statistician named Glenn Cravens who goes by the game 2K on Twitter. Oh yeah. Yeah, GYT, he, baby. Old oh, shout oh, yeah. to the OG days. Shout out to the OG remember, days. You remember the old I definitely days. remember those times, baby. He got the player cards and everything. It was crazy. <laughs> That's right. And uh, he, he noticed that, you know, when there's been 50% U.S. players in top eight, that they've won uh, seven out of nine of the tournaments. Mm. And now 
and now eight out of Damn. ten is the punk. So you know, U.S. Damn. players, it's not as free as a lot of people want to think it is. So mm-hmm. we haven't won our Evo yet, but you know. Oh, you will coming. at this rate. <laughs> yeah, exactly. This year, this is our year again. So. America, baby, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Apologies to all the Japanese Street Fighter fans watching. No, America, baby. I don't care. I'm I, trained in I mean, Nippon. But do you think that's why there were so many upsets at final round? Because we just are conditioned to believe that the Japanese Street Fighter players will maybe take hold and will run away with all these tournaments? Is, is that why there were so many upsets? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's interesting that y- you bring that up because, like, are they upsets? You know, is yeah, Smug yeah. being Fujimura really an upset or is that just, you know, Smug is amazing, right? So um, maybe, you know, calling them upsets might be a little too generous, I guess, mm-hmm. uh, or at least a little um, a little underplaying the, the quality so of the U.S. players the here, you know, because uh, obviously the players here are very strong. So at this point in time, it's hard to say if anything really is an upset you know, because of just how good. Uh, the, and, and I, you know, I'm talking about the U.S., but let's face it, the, the, the quality of competition around the world right now for Street Fighter V and for fighting games in general is just so strong. I mean, we saw, uh, you know, what happened at uh, EVO Japan with Arslan Ash winning Tekken 7, you know, with all the Korean and Japanese players all over there. And so, you know, uh, it's the, the quality of players from around the world is ridiculous in fighting games right now. And that's that to me is really, really exciting. So, you know, as much as, you know, I'm being a homer here and talking about U.S. and all that stuff like that. But let's face it, the players from around the world are, are amazing. And, and, you know, we're seeing so many strong players cropping up everywhere and that to me is the most exciting thing uh, about seeing how the fgc is growing right now hmm i mean we should kick it back to uh the japanese scene because i do want to talk about tokido yes my man he is not doing good (laughs) yeah i mean he was the most consistent player in 2018 and then got upset by cool kid and bonchan so wake up supers wake up supers tell me (laughs) james you saw it live tell me what happened yeah. Well, so first of all, I feel like Tokido maybe just has a little problems with Abigail. Mm-hmm. Uh, he faced another Abigail before Cool Kid and had a very, very close match, lost the first game and had to win the next two games. And then Cool Kid came by and, and, and sealed the deal against uh, Tokido. Uh, as for Bonchan, you know, look, Bonchan is so used to fighting Tokido. They've had long sets of Akuma versus Sagat. And uh, so I'm not a hun- I'm not entirely surprised by Bone Chan winning that fight against Tokido. Uh, look, I, the thing about Tokido is he's been the most consistent, but I also just feel like the field is just getting so strong. It's just, just so many good players out there right now, and uh, you know, Kuma did get some small nerfs. <laughs> 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 He did get a couple of buffs as well, so, you know, I'm not going to use that as an excuse for Tokido. But honestly, I just feel like the field out there and just the amount of players who are so dangerous and so deadly Mm -hmm. in the game right now, it's going to make it really hard for Tokido to have the same kind of consistency he had from last year. I don't see it as much as Tokido maybe kind of losing a little bit. I see it more as everybody else stepping up to the plate at this point in time. I just feel like the quality of play is increasing so much Mm -hmm. that, you know, it it is going to be hard for Tokido. Look, I'm a Tokido fanboy, okay? You know, as much as I've been talking about, you know, Japan, blah, down with Japan. No, like, I love Tokido to death. And Mm -hmm. I I don't think, like I said, I don't think he's dropped at all. I I just think that, you know, everybody else has gotten so strong. And you know, when, when it when it counts, I think Tokido will definitely perform. And, you know, to have back-to-back grand finals at EVO, you know, for two years in a row, I feel like, you know, I wouldn't be surprised to see him in that spot again this year. Let's just put it that okay, way. Okay, so if he won, it wouldn't be an upset in James's eyes. I it, do it want you to give... It is mine. It, it would be in yours. It is okay, mine, good to know. Uh, I do want you to give me one guy, though, that you are looking at to make a big jump during the 2019 CPT. Ooh, uh, a big jump doing mm-hmm. this tea, huh? I'm kind of hoping oh. you're going to say smug. I want you CJ know, Truth, man. CJ Truth looking mm. good. 
CJ Truth is looking really strong. He's probably a good one, but I don't know if it would count as a jump because, you know, he had been doing so well already uh, at the end of last year. But, you know, I guess, you know, compared to uh, how he's been doing for the entirety of Street Fighter V, yeah, CJ Truth would be a good pick uh, for a jump. You know, I I'm looking at maybe potentially like uh, like maybe a Neon or a Nephew, mm -hmm. you know, so, some Colleen players, because I know mm -hmm. Colleen is really strong right now. Uh, if you want to talk about players who, you know, haven't had that kind of success in the previous years compared to now. Mm -hmm. uh, but, you know, if no you are... No love for Snog, no love for K-Brad, like... Oh, no, K-Brad's <laughs> washed up. He's done. He's done. Sorry, oh, K-Brad, you are done. No, just, you are uh... done. <laughs> you might have got sponsored, but that's because of your personality. <laughs> for me... For me, Smug has never gone anywhere. So I, okay. you know, like I'm also a big Smug fan. So mm. I, I don't consider him. I wouldn't consider him making a jump because, like, I just, I, he's always been in the mix of things for me. So okay. you know, I, I don't feel like he's ever gone anywhere. K. Brad has definitely disappeared a little bit, and you know, he's he's coming back at this point in time. It's going to be tougher, I guess, because Cammy got nerfed a little bit she's the same but you know <laughs> just a little bit i mean no one noticed right <laughs> <laughs> she's supposed to, i mean cj truth to be honest with you has said that she's gotten weaker and he's doing a lot of work with colleen now so you know along the lines of me mentioning neon and nephew yeah you know maybe cj truth is the is the culmination of that because he is doing well and he's also using colleen as well so you know, I, I just expect some Colleen players to do really, really well this year. So uh, maybe maybe we can go with CJ Truth then, you know, <laughs> as the as final answer. Final, final CJ, answer is CJ Truth in both of you. Yeah, um, we do have one fan question, or I guess two fan questions for you, James. <laughs> uh, Rich to the Rescue says, James, I might have at most one hour a day maybe to play Street Fighter. What would be the best way to increase my skill? Seku, Alex, or his means? Uh, honestly, uh, when you play, you know, play online, play online mm -hmm. because you want to get the matchup knowledge and, and just get the experience there from all the different variety and, 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 you know, different kinds of players that you have there. But if you have an hour to play, you know, the first thing that you want to do is play some matches, but then whenever you lose a match, uh, there is that option to start training mode with the current characters that are there, you know, try to take advantage of that and really pay attention to what it is that you're losing to mm -hmm. and make sure that you study the characters that you're losing to. If you're losing to a character that you're not familiar with, you know, pick that option, go to the training mode, block all of their attacks and see what they are on block, you know, mm -hmm. find out which moves are negative, which moves are positive, find out, you know, try to remember what tactics they were using on you, find ways to counter them and such. You know, and, and if you can, you know, go back and watch some of your replays to get that kind of information. But really to maximize your hour, it's really about making sure you take the time to understand the matchup and the characters that you're fighting against. Like, for example, I, I have trouble against Alex. So mm -hmm. I get beat up by Alex a lot because for some other reason, I'm just scared of his command throw. Yeah. So I just eat meaties and I jump back and I just die a bunch. And recently, you know, I sat down, you know, tested him out, got command thrown and just noticed that he gets no advantage off of that. So, you know, against Alex, I'll, I'll, I'm going to start learning to take the throw a little bit more. Yeah, man, you're a footsie player, man. Alex is a... Uh... <laughs> He's a bane of every com every player who plays footsies. And I know you got clean footsies and command graphs. <laughs> it is a no-no. No-no. <laughs> All right, Drew. Uh, we have one last question for you, James. Uh, this one actually is from Drewface. Okay. When are we running it back in Tetris so I don't play on no Joy-Cons, James? Yeah, when we get that run back, baby. I'm ready every day, all day, 24-7. All day. Bring it, man. Anytime. Anytime you want, Drew. Bring it. Let's it's do on this. site, James. I'm going to see you at Calm Break. It's going to be on site. <laughs> it sounds good. Let's do this. Let's do this. Okay, Drew, James is going to kick your ass, man. <laughs> I'm still going to do it. I'm still going to try. She That's knows, what matters, Marissa. I'm still going to try. All right. Uh, Touch is 99 because it only takes one win. <laughs> James, thank you so much for joining us today. Cannot wait to see what the CPT has in store for us. Oh, yeah, I'm super excited for CPT this year, but thanks for having me. You know, I'm always down to help out the squad crew here, so <laughs> thanks for having me. Of course, babe. Okay, now it was a busy weekend outside of Street Fighter, so let's see how the other events in the FGC played out. Get to Get away. Who's going to land the final hit here? 
Oh, he's staggered the Still pressure. The frame. What a good time. Low power up here. It's over. It's over. It's over. It's over. It. Shadow finishes it. And Shadow is Shadow your final Lowe. round. Complete. 2019 20. champion. Oh, okay, yeah. up there. Good stuff from Nairo, just not jumping oh in his corner. Ooh. No, get back to the stage! Ah. <laughs> All right, oh. So. oh my god, so much for son! What? Oh, what? 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 Oh my god! No way! Tame oh. Hame! Oh. They got the tech! They oh, still back! They oh. still back! Oh. Reverse 3 0! Oh. Wait, what's that? Stand? Okay. Mars is crazy though. Oh yeah. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Winners is back here. And, and that's, that's it. Reset up the bracket. Oh, and he barely makes it back and blocks. This is still looking really rough though. Time. Looking for that down smash and oh, oh my and gosh, oh, action KO. There it goes. Mars popping off, and here's your collision 2019 champion. Ooh, and that's gonna reach Dogarel with five bars. Oh! That's, that's an NRS player. Oh! He's getting ready for MK11. He's ready for it. What are you doing? This is not Mortal Kombat. Now, <laughs> Piccolo Ball is incoming. Oh, One hit. A lot of this could be it, folks. He's got two bars. Hard knockdown. This is it. Luigi wins final round 2019. Ooh, baby, lots to unpack there. So, Drew, let's start with what we just witnessed, which was Goichi. Ooh, Yo, my homie. taken on, of course, Sonic Fox, as he usually does. But Sonic Fox, not even top two, not top three. He, like, landed fifth. I know. It's a, man, he's in a slump right now. And yeah. I think uh, Goichi's not in a slump. He is mm. savage mode right now. Mm. He's in all savage mode, calm 21 all day. Mm. Uh, he is killing it with Piccolo right now. And he beat... Kazunoko in Grand Finals, the yeah. Dragon Ball World Tour champion. I mean, I kind of love that because all last year it just seemed like obviously Sonic Fox's year, everything was about Sonic Fox. He won uh, Esport Player of the Year as well at the Game Awards. Like, it was all his moment, his time to shine. Now, Goichi literally took his head off. Oh, he decapitated the monster. Yeah. He decapitated the monster. You know why? Because it's 2019, and that's not 2018. Therefore, Sonic Fox is human. Human. Oh, I see. Okay, so he has taken away his superpower, absolutely. and Aguichi has channeled it and made it his own. Absolutely. And it'll be the year of Goichi. Goichi, absolutely. Okay, he's going all in, Goichi baby. Let's talk Smash Ultimate at Collision because Nairo nearly pulled off the bracket reset over Mars like crazy. And there was so much drama happening with that too. Like Mars is calling coaching and the audience. Like there was serious drums. You know what? I'm from the FGC, yeah. and we. We think that's like crowd noise. We just think it's hype. Uh, yeah. Mars, unfortunately, he's entitled to think and have his own opinion about that. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, he still beat him. <laughs> yeah. He still yeah. beat him, so it's all good. I mean, uh, we have to talk about Ganondorf here for a second because Ganondorf he's... Ganondorf is not yeah. a good character. <laughs> <laughs> he's not, I don't know how he did that. He beat Light with Ganondorf. I don't know how he did that. Ganondorf is slow like a turtle. Fox is, well, Fox is fast like a fox. <laughs> <laughs> fox is fast like a fox. I don't know, I like using Ganondorf when I play, but I'm not playing competitively, so never mind. Damn, I mean, yeah. he hits like a Mack truck, but that, <laughs> that's... <laughs> he just seems yeah. menacing. Like, I got this with Oh, no, Ganondorf. he's slow. It's kind of like a, it's kind of like a, literally outrunning a turtle. Like, you just get away from it. <laughs> Real easy. Okay, okay <laughs> fair enough. Let's move on to Tekken 7, because Pop Champ style, I mean, Dang, how difficult would it be to actually play against this guy and okay. his consistency? I told you, man, that man is on the top 10 R&B billboards in America. No heat seekers here. I would play with that dude by my side all day. Karaoke, Tekken 7, we're gonna have a duet, just the two of us. Shouts to Will Smith, I love that dude. Wait, like Big Willie style? Oh, Big Willie style all day, it's Miami, baby. It's Miami. <laughs> we go into Miami. Miami. Going okay, to so, you're, so you're playing and singing at the same time with him. That's what I would do. Oh, Absolutely. Okay, that might be an interesting party that I would watch, maybe not be at, but I'd watch from a distance. Well, you're you going to clip it. Easy. I'm going to clip it. All Easy. right, Drew, uh, let's talk about your player of the week because I know you got someone so special. I got to give it to Punk, man. That dude mm. is so clean. That dude is so clean. That dude won final round from losers. And he only, guess who he only lost to? 
gadget cut, the Capcom Cup champion. Mm. And he did it with ease, except for Johnny. But he did it with ease. Everybody was was free. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He kind of showed the FGC what up, just reminded them. You were sick. You were sick. Exactly, yeah. You were sick. And who he was, and also having a new org backing him now, like, that's a lot of pressure. Yeah. And for him to step up and perform the way he did, and then not pop off at the end, which I was a little upset by. That's a suspect with you Japanese. Oh. Yeah, he just walked off. He's like, no, free. Everybody free. Just walked off. Okay, okay. Yeah, because he won. He won everything, and then he kind of just did one of these, and then he sat down. I mean, that, you know what? Punk's the best when he's confident. Mm. And that's how you know he's confident, because he's feeling himself. You don't got to say nothing. His performance said it all. Mm. OK, I feel like that's a good place to leave it, Drew. Thank you so much for chilling with me and talking FGC, baby. Uh, we do, I mean, I do want to talk a little bit about the look ahead. Because next week, you gotta, you're, you're excited. Next two weeks, right? We next got NorCal two weeks, Regionals. baby. NorCal Regional. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Mm. I know. Are you, who are you excited for to see? Everybody. Oh, OK. Literally everybody. Because I love fighting games. It's my life. <laughs> Can't it's narrow my anything life. down. I'm surprised you even picked Body a player of the week. all day. Six buttons all day. Punch, kick, punch. All day. <laughs> all right. They have just these back in full swing, so make sure you tune in on Wednesdays for all the latest. Huge thanks to James Chen for joining us to chat final round today and check in tomorrow as we go over the Halo 3 Invitational at South by Southwest. Make sure you all follow us on the socials at Squad State, and we'll see you back here tomorrow. <laughs>